Hello and welcome to the Warhammer Podcast, episode 74. I'm your host, Brad. This is my co-host, Eric. How's it going? And today we are relaxing after the math extravaganza we did last episode. It is time to just enjoy ourselves and have some good, clean fun. Yeah, something like that. I mean, this is definitely a more relaxed episode, but I'm not sure it's going to be a good, clean fun given the amount of failing grades we're going to be giving out. Yeah, so without any further ado, it's time for us to return to the series where we grade every faction on something stupid. And this time, it's everybody's Rhino. Sounds good. Alright, first up, let's discuss the rules here for the homework assignment. Yeah, so each faction is going to have one attempt to turn in their homework assignment. And if you have the Rhino, well, auto-pass with an A. Good job. But if you have the Rhino and an alternative, we'll grade the alternative just so that there's some content and we're not just (laughs) auto-passing half of the Imperium and Chaos. Yeah, that would be a bit boring. Also, it's more fun this way. If there is no dedicated transport, then um, maybe we'll try and see about something, but probably just fail. Yeah, so uh, rip knights this time. DNF. A big part of this grading, though, is not about the best transport. We're talking rhinos. Yes, this is how good you are as a rhino. So you have to match the definition of a rhino, not the definition of a good transport, as those two things often are not the same thing. Yes, most definitely. And as always, what we say is objectively correct. There's no other options. Yes, as in with real life English classes, this is determined off the whims of your teacher, not an objective grading scale. So we could just screw you over and you have to live with that. Also, when you're being graded could matter depending on how uh, much to drink we've had, just like your teachers. So I guess before we begin, we have to talk about what is a rhino? It's free. Oh, that's true. So I've got a list of qualifications here that we'll try to stick to when we're doing our very objective grading scale. <laughs> yeah. First off, it's a dedicated transport. It's on the cheaper end in point cost. It transports 10 models with major restrictions on those models. It's got a 12 inch move. It's T9, which seems to be the light vehicle, but not a Xenos light vehicle number. It's got 10 wounds. It's not the biggest transport in its faction, nor the tankiest, nor the killiest. It's just your middle of the road transport. It's basically got no relevant guns on it whatsoever. As we've pointed out on several episodes, it was overproduced to oblivion in real life, which is why buying one at MSRP is not a good idea. And finally, aesthetically, we're looking for a box. We're looking for something kind of like a Kia Soul, but bigger, so maybe a Hummer. Yeah, so this is something that without treads would look at home in an American parking lot. All right, so let's start judging everyone's homework assignments. Step up to the plate Adeptus Sororitas. All right, there's actually some discussion on that. They have a rhino, but they have another dedicated transport, the emulator. Yeah, so we'll judge the emulator just to have something that's not a rhino for the auto A. And because it's just cooler anyways. uh... But I still hate the rule. But boy, oh boy, (laughs) does it follow the... It's a transport that has a whole bunch of limitations on what it can transport. When you need multiple paragraphs to explain how to use this transport. Holy shit, it has more than I thought. That's because... It takes things below the minimum squad size for the unit. They had to do it in Drukhari too because they upped the minimum squad size in Drukhari. Yeah. And then they upped how much Venoms cost so you couldn't use them to keep getting five mans. That's so fucking weird. Yeah, because they made light transports that can only have five people in it. And then they decided that's too good to have five man squads that are that cheap because it means you can hold objectives for 40 points. So we'll make it so you have to take 10. But wait, we don't want this transport to transport 10 things so we're gonna split them up i that's so weird how this is written yup i don't like it i don't like it at all (laughs) i hate this rule definitely fits with the make it complicated and annoying to figure out what can actually be transported yeah at least the rhino's easy it's just the totally not primaris (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, it's also got the basic loadout, 12-inch move, a T10. Yeah, it's close enough. I'm not taking points off for the extra wound, extra toughness here. It is half the transport size, which is a little bit lower here. It actually has decent shooting on it, so points off for that. I still think we could pass it with a B. It's very close to a rhino. Yes, I'm aware it's literally made of a rhino, but it's close enough. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to argue to you down to a B minus. Just because it actually has aesthetics, unlike the rhino. <laughs> I was like, fair. It, it is very much a rhino with more, but that more is actually kind of interesting. It's helping it out, which is unfortunate because that makes it not rhino like. It makes it less like a rhino. <laughs> So I'm going to argue that you down to the B minus on that one. That's fair. I'm good with that. Solid start. All right. Time for Adeptus Custodes. So the sisters already save you here by bringing in their rhino. Right. I forgot that the Anathema had a rhino. Yeah, and I'm not going to go to Forge World to get into some bullshit. <laughs> we'll use this moment to talk about the Land Raider, because you do have access to that as a Custodes player. Yeah, which is kind of neat. It's tougher, it moves slower, it has real guns on it, it's got a lot more wounds, it's not limited in what it can take like the Rhino. It fails on a lot of things here. Aesthetically, it's trash, which is good, because that makes it a Rhino. It looks like a Rhino. That's gold. <laughs> Shout out to Eric's early career in playing when he had trouble differentiating between a Razorback and a Land Raider and thought he owned a Land Raider. I still think that, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's rough because it's also a lot of points. There's the last little bit that's the problem for me. There's a lot of problems with this, honestly. It nails aesthetic so hard that I think it makes up some bonus points, but I still can't give a Land Raider more than, like, a C-. minus. Yeah. It just fails on almost every qualification. I feel like there's a lot of things that it's kind of close on that you could argue. The ranged weapons is not one of them. And the point cost is very much not one of them. Okay, now hear me out for this argument, though. For this specific example, do we give some bonus points back? Because... It's Custodes, where everything is expensive, and this only transports six Custodes models, even though it would transport, like, a million normal Marines. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Is this just a rhino upsized for the fat asses of the Custodes, so it can carry all that cake? I'm okay with that but then why are there also guns on it true true i'm just saying that might make up for the point cost portion and it can't quite move as fast because there's some big boys that it's got to carry around yeah i see where it's at let's round it up to like a c plus then okay i'm good with that i like the c plus you did the best you could <laughs> All right, elephant in the room. Obviously, Space Marine's Rhino is the Rhino that we're all comparing to here. So we get over to the Impulsor for Space Marines, which is their other dedicated transport. And it scores shockingly well, in my opinion. So you keep the correct toughness, the correct move characteristic. You get an extra wound, but who cares? It's got terrible guns on it. More than the Rhino, but terrible guns. I feel like the guns are just an insult to a point. <laughs> Yeah, where you have to fire them and they do nothing, but you have to fire them. Yeah, they're like, they exist, so I have to use them, but nothing is going to happen. <laughs> okay, it gets a lot of bonus for me because it's ugly as sin. <laughs> you take the rhinos, it's a brick, and you go, what can I do to make this more offensive to the eyes? I know, let's get out a pickup truck. <laughs> the Impulsor nails the, you could find this in your average American parking lot if it had normal wheels on it, because this is just a bunch of Space Marines getting into the back of a pickup truck. The Impulsor very much is, if we painted it the right colors and put an American flag in the back. Mm, it'd be right at home. Alabama. Oh, Black Templars in it, going over to Cousin Daryl's house. Yep, it's fitting right in. <laughs> So, yeah, the aesthetically, we're doing rhino things. Alternatively, it's a pickup truck full of space marines going to Ram Ranch. Yeah. I don't know, I just wanted a Ram Ranch reference in there to piss off even more space marine players. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I was like, this seems a bit out of context, and uh, we're taking this a bit. I was trying to force that one. It's okay. It didn't land. I wish I had thought of that one first. I think that was the better one, honestly. It won't work now, though. It's not natural. It was ruined because you threw the uh, reasonable straight ball, and then this one was like, nah, let's curve that. It just doesn't matter anymore, man. I'm sure the editor won't leave in my failed joke, so this is fine. Yeah, the the impulsor to me, it's the most deceptive marketing thing. They always show it from the exact same angle and never any other angle because the moment you leave the angle the promo picture of an impulsor is at, they can mentally imagine. Yeah. You realize it's a fucking pickup truck. But from this angle, it looks like the repulsor where it's like a full tank and it looks very rhino-esque. But then you turn it just slightly and you're like, that's just a Dodge Ram. <laughs> <laughs> but you could buy one of these from a kid's toy and spend like $90 less on it. I mean, that fits in with a rhino at the same time. True. I think we give the Impulsor an A+, plus, honestly. I don't know about an A+. Plus. It can only bring six models. Yeah, but it nails the ugly factor and the lack of aesthetics. All right, fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> Space Marines, you went above and beyond. You even knocked out the Rhino itself. It's got the limited, you can't take old Marines in this to make up for the Rhinos. You can't take Primaris Marines. Yeah. It's so perfectly equal. It really is. All right, let's move to Grey Knights. We're again Rhino, Land Raider, but let's do something new. Razorback. Yeah, I like the Razorback more than I like the Rhino because it almost looks like a functional vehicle. Uh, it's like a really bad tank, which is like 5% better than a Rhino. It looks like somebody from the 40s designed yes, a... a World War One tank. Yeah. <laughs> Like, right before we hit to World War II and I actually figured out shit from the World War I wasn't working. There's a tractor covered in armor with a giant gun on top. Nailed it. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, aesthetically, I'm I'm with you on that, but it's also not particularly exciting. Like, the emulator has more character to me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But that's, we're talking about, like, 30 years difference on those two designs. Yeah. Yeah, so the Razorback, it's a half transport. Other than that, it's literally just a Rhino, but it's got a big gun on top. That is basically what it is. You gotta take points off. But it is close. I'm thinking like B range. We gave the emulator, what, a B minus? Yeah. But this one doesn't have the aesthetics of the emulator, which again, we're looking for the Rhino. Right. So probably a flat B. That's kind of where I was at. Like, it reminds me a lot of that. It has most of the things. Wrong transport size. It has a gun. So yeah, a B. Okay. Okay, Ad Mac. You've got a cool one that's... It sounds all awesome. Scorpius Dune Rider. It's a World War II landing boat <laughs> that I'm sure has some name that war nerds are freaking out about right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, move, toughness. Yeah, wounds off, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, it nails almost the correct amount of infantry in it. It can't take certain units in the army. Cool. It almost has too good of guns, but I'm going to say they're still shit enough, so that's fine. Yes, but it's also ADMAC nowadays, so these are pretty good guns. <laughs> I feel like I need to take points away from the fact that it's a pickup truck that doesn't have firing deck. Okay, so it looks less like we're trying to do the Impulsor. Yeah, it doesn't look like a pickup truck as much because this actually looks like a normal military transport. It's not a literal pickup truck where the shielding wouldn't go past a Space Marine's knees. They're all just sitting in the back of the pickup. Obviously more of a, like, somebody designed this for war in mind instead of, hey guys, wouldn't it be cool if I just turned my F-150 into a war machine? <laughs> We're going to get so many comments that I love it. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, if you have these aesthetics, that it's a knock against the Rhino, because I actually look some like that. But it also doesn't have firing decks, so... I get your problem. Your problem is the same as mine, which is the aggravation of this thing is an open-top transport that doesn't have the open-top transport ability. That wasn't part of the original assignment, but if you submit stupid shit you're gonna get knocked down in a grade on it so what grade are you thinking here uh 
I'm thinking a C. Oh, it's above a C. It nails more than the Razorback does. Let's tie the Razorback at a B. Nah, fine. I guess I really don't like when, like, the model doesn't match the rules. You submit your assignment and you clearly just gave up halfway through. <laughs> Giving up halfway through is the AdMech index. It's fine. Okay, you convinced me. There you go, AdMech players. There's your anti index joke for the episode. Pat yourselves on the back. You got it. You convinced me. It's a B. Let's move to Guard. Guard should have some cool stuff, right? Guard's got the Chimera, which, honestly, it's got the old Imperium transport look. It, it looks like a fucking rhino. I mean, they could have also submitted the Torox. Yeah, I I think the Chimera is going to get more points here. The Torox has better design, but, like, it's got the whole, it's for a specific type of unit, and the Chimera is, like, the general purpose transport. Yeah, I mean, I know that one of our grading things was it has to be kind of annoying to do, like, with restrictions. Yeah, so the Chimera gets us there. The move tough wound is about right. It's guard, all the guns suck, but it has no, like, major cannon, so we're good. Yeah, that's true. It does have a lot. I like guns though. That's again, it's supposed to be the like it's transporting people firing out of those arrays. Now why it can fire without anyone in it is a different question. Yeah, and that's why it, like it's kind of weird since like we have firing deck now, but whatever. That's fine. They're not particularly impressive guns, so I'm fine with it. It's got the square design, it's right amount of units being transported, got the right basically everything in my opinion. It looks like a freaking rhino. I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think it looks cooler than a rhino and that knocks it down a little bit. I don't even think it looks cooler. I think they both look like garbage, but all right, sure. We'll go with that. Well then. Oh, it's time to speed this episode up. We did make some show notes on this and uh, the next few on the list are very quick. Imperial Knights. You didn't turn in your homework assignment. Where is your transport for all of those knights? Chaos Knights. Uh, same thing, but with spikes. Chaos Demons. We don't get transports. Our transport is the warp. And yeah, if you tried to submit that, you would have failed. Uh, Chaos Space Marines. Uh, you get the Rhino, the Land Raider, and a bunch of stuff from Forge World that all got removed from the game. Ah, uh, rip. Death Guard. What I just said, but stinky. Thousand Sons. What I just said, but smart. <laughs> I mean, nerdy. Just a bit of bias. World Eaters. <laughs> what I said, but world eatery. Angry. Angry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, a bunch of no, but... Congrats, Chaos. We did your entire every Chaos faction and Imperial Knights in like, what, a minute there? Speed run. All right, let's uh slow down because we have factions that actually get their own models again. Yeah, Eldari. So Eldar is weird because I split out Harlequins because I remember you even if GW doesn't. I feel like it was wrong to have done that, but I accept it because both of these are cool enough to have separate talk about. So. And of the two, I would pick the Star Weaver because it's cooler, <laughs> which is why I split it out so that I could talk about two of them. Yeah. Because you would have been annoyed if I had the Star Weaver under Eldari. Yeah. <laughs> But for Eldari, Wave Serpent. It's the classic transport for them. It's got the awkward thing that we're going to find with all of the elves, which is the transport has real firing power because they're like tanks that are also transports. And they move fast. And Yeah, they move fast. They have fly. I'd argue the Wave Serpent is ugly as sin, but it doesn't look anything like a rhino. So you still got to take all the aesthetic points off completely different ugly as sin it carries the right amount of units at least sure i give the wave servant like a d d plus i think a d plus is fine <laughs> did we give someone a c minus already maybe oh is that what we gave custodies yeah i don't remember i don't want to give them a c anyway so wave servant d plus as high as i'm going but let's move on to harlequins where we get the star weaver which is so cool. It has the unfortunate <laughs> thing of it is the anti-rhino. <laughs> Moves too fast with fly. It has a whole six toughness. It's as tough as a dude in Gravis armor. Yeah. It's got a whopping six wounds. It can only carry six models. I'm noticing Slanesh's number a lot here. I'm just saying, Harlequins, this is a little sussy. <laughs> It's got a fucking cannon. Yeah. So uh, while the Star Weaver is very cool. You get points off for being cool because the rhino is anything but cool. You're a terrible rhino. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest grade possible, a D minus. You technically turned in your homework assignment. I can't fail you. You didn't cheat. Good job. 
<laughs> Drukhari, basically the same problem, but different. You actually have the correct amount of transport capacity. You unfortunately have a sexy as fuck gun. You move too fast. You're slightly too low on toughness. You've got the right number of wounds for the most part. It's better. You look nothing like a rhino. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a boat. <laughs> I'll go C- minus on this one. What? Because it's not as different as the Wave Serpent, even if aesthetically both of them are so wildly off base. I can accept that because it does have a decent amount of the things going for it. The amount of models with some restrictions and uh, that's about it. <clears throat> um, I'm also biased for Drukari on this one because we've not done so well in these episodes so far because we keep grading off Space Marines and they're basically the anti-Space Marine design. Design. They kind of are. We're being gentle to the grading on Drukari for the uh, inherent bias of the assignment. It's that teacher moment where, like, the stoner kid actually showed up to class and turned in their homework, and you want to just be rewarding to them to hopefully, like, instill in them. Hey, you can keep trying. I hope that you do better in the future. Don't give up on yourself. Exactly. That's the C minus we're giving out today. <laughs> All right, let's see if Tyranids can do a little bit better. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> Eric didn't read the Tyranid unit yet. This is as close as I can get. So I'll be honest, I didn't <laughs> expect the aesthetics to be a solid point for Tyranids if I know. <laughs> but this took it to another layer of the fuck. The forbidden flashlight. The fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> So Tyranids is the one who <laughs> heard the wrong assignment. Yeah. Did their homework and brought in their drop pod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently they woke up halfway through the explanation and were still <laughs> groggy and just like... Wrote down a random page number to do the homework. Yeah. <laughs> and this was like a slight sub note or something like that on that page. And they went, yep, got it. That's what it was. <laughs> drop pod. <laughs> This is your test as the teacher then of like, what do you give the student who turned in a great homework assignment for the wrong assignment? That has really nothing to do with the assignment. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's not even, it has ranged weapons. It moves a. It is technically a transport. It is technically a transport. It can transport a bunch of things. <laughs> It can't transport them right. Yeah. In fact, it has a rule saying you can't use it as a transport. A D? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, This is where you give them the F, but you say this will count towards your next assignment where you do a drop pod episode. Yeah. You passed the wrong assignment. You need to go home and do the right assignment tonight. Please go home and find the actual assignment that you did, obviously, that you just brought in incorrectly. It's okay. I understand. Bring it in tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're, they're failing the class until they actually bring in a proper transport. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Gene Steelers. Gene Steelers gets a really good grade. I love your transport. It nails basically every point on the dot. The argument could be made that having the demolition charge ability makes it too good at actually shooting in a weird way because it's got like a six inch range attack thing. Ah. Uh, but I don't think we should hold that against it. That's a minor. That's enough to say no, you don't get an A plus. Sure. But the Goliath truck nails every aspect. It's got the big square pickup truck ugliness to it, but in like a more likable way. In a more likable way, indeed. You can't argue it's it's just a pickup truck. Uh, it's even got wheels, and, and, and it's a truck. This one is parked down the road if I go outside right now. Basically, instead of the giant gun, it's just an American flag, but yes. Uh, there's probably a gun on the window, actually. That's probably true. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think the Goliath truck nails it. You get an A. Solid. It hits all the points, and it does it in a good, clean way. It's nice when we get an easy A. Yeah. So let's move on to Necrons. What did you do? <laughs> 
I see the... <laughs> Clearly the art major. Yeah, I see the intent. They understand the fundamentals, but they're trying to make it more than it is. <laughs> yeah, they, they like went too far in like every possible way. Yeah. So like they heard, okay, it's got to have weird restrictions on what it can transport. Let's make it only work on one fucking unit in the army. Oh, and all of the characters because it's funny. But the characters can't attach to their units that aren't this unit. So you can take a Scorpec Lord but he can't have Scorpex with him. That would be silly. <laughs> they saw it, you know, the the move toughness wound and they went, yeah, 14 wounds, right. Sounds yeah. good. Gave it fly for no reason. <laughs> They heard it had to be ugly, but instead of a box, they just decided to go with a giant rib cage. Which, in some aesthetic, I could understand, but... This is why the goth kids get made fun of. Uh, yeah, you took this assignment and you put too much artistic intent on it, and it doesn't work. <laughs> I have trouble with taking too many points off just because they did all the correct things in the stupidest ways. Yeah. Honestly, to a certain point, this very much feels like the kind of assignment that somebody purposefully submits going, fuck this assignment. I know how to do it right, but I'm going to do every little bit, every single step just wrong enough to piss you off. <laughs> Like, I say, like, no higher than a C. Yeah, but probably a C because it's all there, technically, you cheeky bastards. Let's move on to orcs. The A student, as always, orcs. Hell yeah, dude. Somehow. Yeah, the orc truck is... They can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with it. I mean, to be fair, a lot of orc stuff is just stolen shit from space. That's Earth. actually true. That's so. that's thematic. That's why they keep winning these, because they have everybody else's shit. Yeah, but they put enough of their own nonsense on it that you're like, nah, that probably wasn't cheating, right? There's no way. <laughs> Only a truly deranged mind would come up with this. <laughs> So yeah, the truck, I mean, it nails almost everything to the T. Yeah, it's got the right move, toughness, wound, roughly, thereabouts. It's shooting. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yep, can transport stuff. Uh, I mean, is it an A or an A- minus because it's got enough cool stuff to it? I think you get an A- minus because it's too aesthetically pleasing. It tried to look bad. This is someone who is, like, not good at being bad. <laughs> Space Marines, they know how to make something hideous. Look at the new rocket launcher, lads. Yeah. You got orcs. They're too lovable. They can't make something ugly. They try, and it just comes out amazing every time. A minus. A minus. You nailed it, but you did kind of a too good of a job. I might have given points off for the firing deck 12, but it's orc shooting, so that's like firing deck 2 in a normal army, so good enough. That's why I was like, yeah, shooting, mm, but... I'll give it to you. Let's move on to Tau. This should be an interesting one. <laughs> The Devilfish. So yeah, Tal's got move, toughness, a few too many wounds, that's okay. Randomly has fly, but that's fine because it's Tao. Every time you add that little, like, pause, I'm like... It angers you, doesn't it? That's why I do it. It's not even that big of a deal face-to-face, -face, <laughs> but over Discord... When we're recording. You think it's a hiccup in the recording? I get this like half, half millisecond like, <laughs> oh shit, what's happened? Son of a bitch. He did that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> the T guttural stop ow. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it hits close to the mark. It's got cannons, but at the same time, it's Tau, so like it's tough to give points off because Tau transport has guns. Why are you transporting things upfield in Tau? I guess breachers so you can get close with the shotguns. Yeah, because I mean, you can't transport battle suits. No, I mean, you wouldn't want to. They're faster for the most part. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, aesthetically... It looks too good. Not even close to a rhino. It looks like some kind of spacecraft. It gets points off aesthetically for the dick gun. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> Which, again, is points on because the rhino is ugly. <laughs> I'll never unsee that now. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> I also appreciate that you've inflicted that on the rest of the audience as well. <laughs> You're all welcome. <laughs> good job. Yeah, you probably get a few points off because it shoots too well. For the most part, it looks too good to be a rhino. Other than that, it's a pretty close one. Probably flat B. Flat B, yeah. 
be a flat B. I'll give you a hard D. I think with that, we can move on to our last one. We've got... Vulcan. Don't ignore my D, Eric. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I could get it to land eventually. <laughs> if, if you just keep going. <laughs> eventually, it becomes funny. Yeah. <laughs> So let's move on to Votan. Yeah, Votan. So the Sagittar is basically our option here because the land fortress is far too big. <laughs> that is the land raider for this faction, so we can't use it. Yeah, I mean, they could have submitted it, but I think they'll do better with the Sagittar than <laughs> land fortress. Yeah, so Sagittar is basically right. It's got a lot of the right ideas, but... It does everything just a little too wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. It does the weird transport thing. It has an actual gun. I hate that weird transport thing. <laughs> Welcome to 10th edition. And all of the vehicles that do the weird transport thing cost too much because of the weird transport thing. Right. Because they don't want you having cheap five mans. I didn't actually think about that, but that makes sense. Yeah. They all cost like 20 more points than they should. Right. Yeah, I was going to say like the Sagittar actually is kind of, I think it's like 120 points or something like that, which is pretty high for a Rhino. And they're all like that. Every one of them that does this trick is like, you can see the 20 points they ticked on, so you wouldn't do the trick. But it's got like the move toughness wound. It does carry transport things with exceptions it is fine i would say this is up there with tau in like the solid b range it does a lot of things close but wrong i think b minus it's got too many windows that's fair we did give the immolator a b minus yeah yeah okay b minus i'm good with that okay i think i'm pretty sure that was all of the rhinos unless we're missing something that i don't know in imperial agents no okay and to be honest this was like <laughs> record time because we didn't even have to do anything in chaos yeah maybe one day it sure is nice when you just get hand-me-downs from the Imperium and you're barely thought of as a faction. Right, World Eaters? Right, Thousand Sons? Right, Death Guard? Well, Death Guard actually have the most unique stuff. As much as they've got actual problems with rules. Death Guard, you have rules problems, but World Eaters, you hit the nail on the head with that one. It was a rough day for Chaos. I mean, you technically all got A's because you had Rhinos, so I guess it was good in that way. But it's rough from, like, a meta standpoint of that means you've got Rhinos. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It is funny that in getting an A grade... You're a little more depressed. That means you have a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations. <laughs> have this brick. Don't bring it back. <laughs> ah, but this was a good cleansing fun episode compared to... Yeah, we had to think too much last week, and this was what I needed to cool off. So if you enjoyed all this, please do the YouTube pleasantries or whatever. Enjoy yourselves, watch the sexy patron names, and listen to some chill beats, and we're out of here for the week. Sounds good. <laughs>